Hello everyone, this is topic 3.12, photoelectric effect. This is taken from AP Chemistry College Board. In this video, I'll be telling what is photoelectric effect and apart from that, I'll be telling what are photons and how they are related to the electromagnetic radiation. So let's start. In the previous video of electromagnetic spectrum, I explained that what is absorption and what is emission. So this is a diagram of an atom where in the center of the atom there is a nucleus and around the nucleus the electron is revolving in a certain orbit. Now when this electron is absorbing some electromagnetic radiation, it goes from lower energy level to the higher energy level. This is called as the electronic transition. And it is said that it is going from ground state to the excited state. Now when the electron comes back to the ground state, that is it comes back to the lower energy level, again there is an electronic transition with the emitting of the electromagnetic radiation. So the absorption is when the electron absorbs the electromagnetic radiation and goes from ground state to the excited state and emission is when the electron comes back to the ground state by emitting some electromagnetic radiation. I told you that the electrons are absorbing and emitting the electromagnetic radiation but that electromagnetic radiation consists photons. So actually the absorption and emission occurs through photons. This means that the electron absorbs the photons and goes from ground state to excited state and when it wants to come back to the ground state it again emits the photons. So basically photons is absorbed and emitted by the electrons. The frequency and the energy of the photons are related by this Planck's equation. So Planck's equation says that energy is equal to h nu where h is the Planck's constant. The value of the Planck's constant is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and nu is the frequency and E is the energy of the photon. So energy of the photon is related to the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. So whenever an electron absorbs a photon, the energy of the atom increases by the same amount as the energy of the photon and when the electron comes back to the ground state, the energy of the atom decreases by the same amount as the energy of the photon which is released. Now there is one more relation which modifies the Planck's equation. The relation is C is equal to lambda nu where C is the speed of light lambda is the wavelength and nu is the frequency. If we rearrange this equation, we will get that nu is equal to c upon lambda. Replace the nu in the Planck's equation with the c by lambda, we get the relation as E is equal to hc over lambda, where E is the energy in joules, h is the Planck's constant whose value I told you it is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. C is the speed of light. The value of speed of light is 3.00 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And lambda is the wavelength in meters. Now let's see some questions related to the same relations. So the question is the wavelength of green light is 522 nanometer. What is the frequency of this radiation? So here the wavelength is given and we need to find the frequency. So we know the relation that is nu is equal to c over lambda where the value of c would be 3.0 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Lambda we know that is 522 nanometer but we need to convert this into meters and frequency we need to calculate so the answer would be in terms of per second. So we can calculate this. You can try this question by yourself. Now let's see this question. Calculate the amount of energy in joules that a benzene molecule gains when it absorbs a photon of ultraviolet radiation with a wavelength of 2.55 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 meters. So in this question it is given that there is a benzene molecule 
it has absorbed a photon of uv radiation which has this much wavelength and we need to find the amount of energy which the benzene molecule has gained so as i told you before also that when a molecule absorbs a photon the energy of the molecule increases so we need to find that amount of energy the formula which we will be using would be e is equal to hc over lambda where we know the values of h and c and we also know the value of lambda and we need to find the value of e the value of h is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joule second multiplied by the value of c is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by Lambda is 2.55 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 meter. So let's see first of all the units cancellation. So basically second second gets cancelled. Meter meter gets cancelled. So we are left with the joules. The answer after calculation would be 7.79 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 joules so this much energy the benzene molecule has gained by absorbing a photon of uv radiation of this much wavelength now let's see what is photoelectric effect the photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons when electromagnetic radiation such as light hits a material. So I told you that when an electron absorbs some energy, it goes from ground state to the excited state. But if we give enough energy to the electrons, the outermost electron of the atom can be removed with that energy. In the topic of periodic trends, I also told you about the term ionization energy. So ionization energy is the energy which is required to remove the outermost electron of an atom in the gaseous state. So here also it is the similar thing. In the photoelectric effect, when the electron of an atom absorbs the electromagnetic radiation such that it moves out from the atom, then the effect is called as the photoelectric effect. So the electrons emitted in this manner are called the photoelectron. So you can see here that the electrons which are getting emitted, these are called as the photoelectrons and this is the electromagnetic radiation which is falling on the atoms. The question is, the first ionization energy of rubidium is 4.03 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 joules per mole. Calculate the longest wavelength in nanometers of electromagnetic radiation that is capable of ionizing an atom of rubidium. So here in this case, the ionization energy value is given. I told you what is ionization energy. It is the energy which is required to remove the outermost electron. For removing that electron, the electromagnetic radiation of some wavelength is given, which we need to calculate. So the values of H, C and Avogadro's number is given. So the formula which we are using is E is equal to HC over lambda. We need to find the lambda. So the formula would become HC over E. Where we know the value of H, we know the value of C and we know the value of E. You can see here that the ionization energy is given in terms of joules per mole. First of all, we will convert this thing into joules because in this formula we need to use in joules. So let's see how we will calculate this. So the energy which is given is 4.03 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 joules per mole. So if we will divide this thing with this Avogadro's number 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 mole inverse then the mole inverse mole inverse will get cancelled out and we will get the answer in the joules. When you calculate this you will get the answer is 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 joules. Now what we will do is we will substitute this value in the formula of lambda. So we know the value of h that is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joules second 
multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter second inverse divided by 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So you can see here that the joules, joules would cancel, second, second would cancel and you will be left with the answer in meters. So let's calculate the answer. The answer would be 2.96 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 meters and the answer is asked in nanometers and that to three significant figures. So the answer would be 296 nanometers. Let's see one more question. The question says that the diagram below depicts five molecular electronic energy levels labeled E1 through E5. The arrows indicate four possible electronic transitions between these levels. So I told you that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in some energy levels. And when they absorb some energy, they go from lower ground state to the higher excited state, which is called an electronic transition. There are five energy levels given, which is E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5 and four types of transitions are given for the electrons. The question is based on the diagram, which of the four transitions is associated with photons of the shortest wavelength? As we know that the formula of energy is E is equal to HC over lambda. This means that energy is inversely proportional to lambda. As the lambda would increase, the energy would decrease, right? In this question, we are asked that which of the four transitions are associated with the shortest wavelength. It means that the highest energy change. Highest energy change in this diagram is for this one transition because here the electron is going from E1 to E5. It's going four levels up. And for this transition, it is going two levels up. For this transition, it is going two levels up. And for this transition, the electron is going one level up. So this means that this transition is having the maximum difference in the energy or you can say it is absorbing the highest energy photon which means that it is absorbing the photon of the shortest wavelength. So the answer for this question is this transition. The learning objective of the topic was explain the properties of an absorbed or emitted photon in relationship to an electronic transition in an atom or molecule. So in this video, I told you that when an electron absorbs or emits a photon, there is an electronic transition going on in the atom or molecule. And I also showed that when the electron absorbs the photon, the energy of the molecule increases and when it goes from higher level to the lower level, then it is emitting the photon and thus the energy of the atom or molecule is decreasing. Please like and subscribe to the channel Log Iota and press the bell icon.